Welcome to the Building Newfoundland and Labrador podcast, dedicated to exploring the interesting journeys of the people in the provincial construction industry. Presented by the Newfoundland and Labrador Construction Association, produced by Gale Force Winds. Join us as we chat with the inspirational individuals that ensure the continued growth of the construction industry and the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Welcome to the Building Newfoundland and Labrador podcast. It is a fantastic event already. We're at the Gala Night. I'm Alan Dale. With me as always, Jerry Carew. Jerry, pretty exciting, eh? Oh my God, this is a wonderful experience, Alan. We're into our third day now. Yeah. We have the CEO of the president. Cana president, president of the Canadian Construction Association. Are we ever excited to have you? 100%. Mary, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Mary Van Buren, president of the Canadian Construction Association. I live in Ottawa, Canada. So Mary, you didn't all of a sudden become the president of the Construction Association. What was your journey to get there? Well, that's a great question. Uh, one of the things that I love to do is to transform organizations. And I uh, have spent the last 20 years or so in different associations. I actually started out in financial services. So I have a very broad background. I worked in for-profits, not-for-profits, and uh, really excited to be part of the construction industry. So you come in here with a, a, a broad association background, understanding the many, many needs and, and for members, large members, NLCA, relatively large uh, group that uh, you've probably worked with. Uh, tell me a little bit about what these associations mean to our country. You've been in many of them. So the Canadian Construction Association was founded almost 100 years ago uh, by uh, folks from across the country uh, shortly after World War I to make a difference for Canada, to really advance uh, the economic and social well-being of Canadians. And the way we work is through 63 partner associations. And of course, NLCA is one of our valued partners uh, here. And uh, one of the ways that we work together is on advocacy. So working with the federal government and the provincial government, and that's really where there's that close connection. So when there are issues that are important to Newfoundland and Labrador, then we can also make sure that we echo those messages at the federal level. We also provide services to our partner associations, for example, the contract documents. Uh, these are uh, consensus documents where the generals, the trades, the civil, manufacturers, suppliers, they get together and they look at, and owners, what would be fair in contracts. And so this really helps the industry work together. And we provide these documents to our partner associations and they in turn sell them to their members. Mary, you have a great lens from a national perspective of what's happening. And certainly you're aware in Newfoundland there is amazing opportunities right now. West coast of our province, we've got hydrogen uh, wind uh, being, or sorry, energy or hydrogen being produced out of green energy, out of wind turbines, converted into ammonia with partners and, and customers already lining up to get it. But that requires a three gigawatt electrolysizer station, roads to go in and out, the turbines to be built, a lot of work in the construction industry. Coupled on top of that, the revitalization of an airport in Stephenville, Newfoundland, on the Avalon Peninsula, right here in Placentia, opening up the seaport again and looking at all the various customers for that. So much work for the Construction Association, so much opportunity. You must feel the excitement. It's a great time to be in construction and we want to make sure that people see construction as a career of choice. and the variety of jobs is, is unbelievable. Of course we have things that people know like electrician and carpenter, but we're expanding it to other areas like being a drone pilot, using big data. Uh, obviously we have lawyers, we have like the whole breadth of roles in the construction industry and so really there's never been a better time. We're actively seeking to hire women, to uh, hire indigenous people and to support them in businesses as well. Like you say, uh, the capacity capacity is just not there. Uh, also immigration, we need uh, more people to come and to work in the industry. We can't create skilled workers overnight. And that's another area where we've been working with NLCA is on apprenticeship. How can we help that? How can we get more people into the industry, get them trained, uh, they can earn as they learn, so it's a fantastic career path. Right. 
You know, I just want to add, Alan, today I had my 15-year-old here, and on the drive home, we had a chat about the industry. You know what's really important to me as a dad, Mary? I want my 19-year-old and my 15-year-old to know that there's opportunity. And I was trying to articulate some of the roles. A drone pilot, I didn't actually have at the top of my head. One of the things that we want to come out of this as, as podcasters is to make sure that your association and the opportunities that are out there are important. It's important to me to let those two boys know that there's opportunity because there's a lot of negativity out there. And I, I think what you know you are doing is really, really important. So you know, thank you for articulating that, right? Very much so. And you, you, you hit all of the kind of points that the conference here over the last few days hit on including you know underrepresented groups in the industry what we're sensing and jerry and i have been in conversation with the construction association for well over a year and there's one thing that truly jumps off the page it is a feeling of inclusion everybody is welcome here. yeah the industry has been working very hard to reach out to communities who have not been working in the industry i know rhonda and lca has a bunch of programs that they've been working on and uh, it's exciting to see that that momentum that's starting to happen and to uh, continue to work on that. Um, it's not done by any stretch. We still have lots of work to do, uh, but the industry is really excited about the potential of building our capacity. Uh, the other things I wanted to mention about uh, attracting youth in particular to the industry, um, they really want to connect with a purpose. And, you know, we talk about building a road or we talk about building a hospital, but really it's the why behind those. You know, it, it's the care that you're getting. It's the, the um, commute maybe to go visit a parent uh, when you use a bridge or flying on a nice vacation out of the, out of the airport. So they can really connect that work to the, to the purpose and feel good about what they're doing for the community. That's a great uh, perspective to look at it from because you're right. Every road that puts in is going somewhere and it's probably taking somebody home to see somebody that they love. So that's a wonderful way to put it. Thank you very much for your perspective on things. We certainly pre appreciate you being in the conversation with us. Uh, enjoy the gala event, and we'll see you up on the stage. Thanks for having me. We can tell people are excited because the level of noise is <laughs> rising. So thank you, Mary. Thank you. Great. Thank you for tuning in to the Building Newfoundland and Labrador podcast, presented by the Newfoundland and Labrador Construction Association, produced by Gale Force Winds.